somehow, though, with limited 200 texts and only a small amount of data. Yeah, I don't know how many teens would like that. I don't think so. I think some parents' ears perked up, though, and said, what? Yeah, how can we get on that? <laughs> All right, for today, we're looking at another hot afternoon. Mm -hmm. The thing is, is that the humidity is still not as bad. So while we are going to be seeing temperatures in the mid 90s, the humidity won't be as oppressive as it has been earlier this week. Take a look at our lawn mowing forecast. I've got us in the green light today, Monday and on Tuesday. We are only looking at the opportunity to maybe see a spotty shower or two for the first couple days of our work week. But look at those highs mid 90s for the next three days. Oh, there's a spider on our spike sky camera like it's trying to eat a little bit of breakfast as the sun is coming up right now. Sunrise is at 607, so we're just a few minutes away from that around 70 with the sunshine. Mostly sunny at 7 AM. We'll start to warm up quickly with that sun and it's going to get hot in a hurry already close to 80 degrees at 8 o'clock and then we're going to spend most of the afternoon in the 90s. Now the sun rise looks beautiful from our sky camera, but I would love to see it from your house and your weather photos to us. My five at newschannel 5.com so I can show a couple of them on the air this morning. 68 right now in Smyrna. Same for Franklin looking at 68 over in Fairview. Good morning up in Ashland City, Cheatham County, 69, 70 right now in Clarksville. Same number for Springfield, 72 in Gallatin looking at 65 right now in Carthage, 65 currently in Smithville with another hot day in the forecast. Perfect afternoon to be out by the pool in your backyard, maybe in your neighborhood. Sunny and hot by two o'clock. We're at 94, four o'clock, 96 degrees, only with a few passing clouds today. The sun will be beating down on you, so definitely want to make sure the kids have the sunscreen on. Mid 90s for most of us today. 95 in Dixon, 95 for a high in Columbia, looking at 94 in Murfreesboro, Shelbyville, 92 forecasted for a high in McMinnville, and 90 for a top temperature in Crossville. These numbers are hot, but they're not record breakers. 96 in Nashville will not break the standing record of 102. It was tied for two different years, 1954, 1936, and it's going to live to stand for one more. 89 is what we should be at this time of the year. And while we're not going to get to that 89 for the next couple of days, by midweek, we'll start to see a breakdown in this pattern. Now we have high pressure that's in control of us. You know what this story means. It keeps us hot and it keeps us dry. Not a whole lot of rain forecasted as I run the clock through Sunday as we go through the clock on Monday. Now we'll see a bit more moisture return to the area Monday into Tuesday, so that will allow for maybe a spotty shower chance. This is looking at two o'clock on Monday. You see these little spots of green over towards uh, East Tennessee, some spots of green in West Tennessee wouldn't be impossible if we had a stray rogue thunderstorm on Monday. Better opportunity even as we get into Tuesday as well to see just a couple of spotty showers and thunderstorms. We'll see more in the way of scattered showers and storms by Wednesday and Thursday. Now the rain will come and it will knock our temperatures down to the lower 90s Thursday, Friday, and as we head into next week, and it's still going to be hot, but not as bad as what we'll see for the next three to four days here.